Hi, uh, today I want to go over how to make um, a payroll model in Excel. And now uh, this, uh, this payroll model is going to be for a company that pays uh, the greater of um, an hourly rate or the commission of, uh, of total sales, or commission of total sales. All right, so I'm going to start off by um, labeling the spreadsheet. So I'm going to call it payroll model. Now, um, let's label this row uh, number of days per pay period. And then we're going to just label it day one, day two, and so forth. We're going to go up to 14 days. Now, we're going to want to go with, um, there's going to be two scenarios in this uh, payroll. If there's going to be an, a uh, an hourly scenario where the employee earned more per hour than he would have uh, on a commission basis. And in that case, he would be getting paid hourly. Um, and then there's a commission basis. So, we're going to make um, a row here called um, hours per day. And then just for um, the sake of uh, making this short, I'm just going to say that I'm going to assume that he worked um, eight hours per day. And now we're going to want to add up the total hours. So this, this row is going to be called total hours as of that particular day of the pay period. And now we're going to, we're going to insert a formula here. And now the formula is going to be the total hours as of the previous day plus the total hours as of that day. Um, and then we're going to just drag it across. So as you see, um, on the second day, he has 16 hours, third day, 24 hours, and so forth. Now, um, the third row is going to be calculating the hourly pay. And let's assume that this employee is getting paid an hourly rate of uh, $15 an hour. We're going to insert a formula here which is going to be the total hours as of that day multiplied by uh, his hourly rate, 15. And again, we're going to drag this across. And this is going to be in dollars. So we see as of day 14, he's going to get paid uh, $1,680. Now, um, for the second, the second scenario, we're going to list... Uh, sales. So the first row is going to be sales by day. <clears throat> now let's just assume that, that he's uh, he sold 2000 this day, uh, 2500 this day, um, and let's, let's just keep plugging in numbers here and see what it, what it comes up with. Let's just to make this a little faster. We're just gonna copy and paste. Assume that he's a pretty consistent guy. Now, um, second row is gonna be total sales as of that day of the pay period. And it, just like, um, actually, I think we could even copy this this formula. Actually, I want to show you guys how to do this. So it's going to be the total of the previous day, of the, of the previous days, plus the total of the current day. And then we're just going to copy this across. 
All right, so at the end of day 14, this is how much money in sales he made. Now, um, we're going to go with a commission base of, um, <laughs> all right, we're going to assume that he's making the commission of, uh, let's say, 6% since that's what realtors make. And so the formula is simply going to be total sales as of that day times 0 0.06 for the 6%. And we're going to drag this across. Now, uh, to, to better demonstrate, to better um, show this data, if you were showing it to a client or whatever, um, you, I would use a, a line graph. I think that's the best best way of showing this. So um, as you saw, I went to insert, line graph, and then I came up with this. Now I'm just going to right click and then uh, go to select data. And the data I want to use is right here. Uh, that way I get the, the day 1 through day 14 on the, the, the x-axis. Now I'm only going to need two data series. So I'm going to just leave this with two here. And uh, the first one is going to be um, an hourly, the hourly rate. And, um, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. You can just uh, rewind it. I'm going to try to be as clear as possible. Well, um, so the, the hourly pay is going to be this right here. So I highlight it, and sometimes you get errors. All right, let's try that again. All right, there it goes. And. The second uh, data series is going to be commissions. You guessed it. All right, commissions is going to be this right here. This line right here. Hit enter. Hit enter again. And that's it. I mean, that's what the graph is for this data set. Now this this would be uh, very useful, like if you wanted to, to show like a break even point, would be where these two lines uh, intersect, and that's around day two, they intersect, um, and this this employee would be better off, um, he would be getting paid hourly since he get, he earned more, um, getting paid hourly. But let's let's change up these numbers a little bit. Let's let's assume this was uh, three thousand, and um, that that's the good thing about this uh, spreadsheet. You could you could change the numbers around, and that way um, you you get you can uh, come up with different scenarios. Uh, let's say he made five thousand dollars this day. He had a good day, and. We you could also change the hours per day. I didn't I didn't bother doing that because I just wanted to make this video short. But I guess let's just go for it. Let's say he worked 12 hours this day, 10 hours this day. So you see how you could you could change this information very easily. Um, and then that's that's it. Well, that's all you have to do. All right. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.